For years, Tom Joyner was dedicated to waking up and shaking up America. Tom will always be one of the most well-known and well-respected voices in the African-American community. Whether it was driving the vote, generating awareness and donations to keep deserving students in school at HBCUs, or taking our loved ones to the doctor, Tom kept us moving. And even though Tom has retired from his daily radio program, he will never stop serving and bringing his message to the African-American community. You are retired, but you are willing to speak with us about the state of heart health in black America today because this release the pressure campaign is so important on so many levels. And I'll, I'll get into that uh, in a bit, particularly since I'm a psychiatrist. But um, black women tend to put ourselves and I will include me in into that last and I'll just, just go over a couple of statistics here. Nearly half of black women over the age of 20 are living with heart disease. And the prevalence of high blood pressure among black men is 22% higher compared to white men. And so we know from the numbers that an estimated 116 million people, U.S. adults, have high blood pressure. That's half of all adults. So it is clear uh, that no one is immune. But we um, in this new Release the Pressure campaign, wanted to be laser focused on black women uh, because we know we need to do something different to change the tide, to stem the tide of, of heart disease in black women. So where do you suggest we start? Uh, we, we believe it's a good start in this mm. partnership with Release the Pressure. Where else should we go? Um, I love black women. Um, Black women have made uh, a difference in my life, both personally and professionally. Um, black women care more. And they care more about the people that they, people in their family or the people that they work with than they do themselves. Thank God. <laughs> Somebody got to, somebody's got to do it. It just happens to be black women. And there's a whole lot of pressure on us. Mm -hmm. uh, when they say black lives matter, I think now the world understands the pressure that's on black men and black and, and black and black and black boys. And so um but black women have to take some time for themselves. I like that. <laughs> I like that. What do we do to to make 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 a difference? Um, be better black men to our black women uh, more than just on Mother's Day, <laughs> Christmas, and birthdays, which is what we that's when we really start doing doing stuff for for our black women. So don't wait. You mentioned that you're out of retirement and you, you feel so passionately about health in general and this campaign that you are working in retirement. Uh, how can other celebrities or influencers, they call them today, do more um, when it comes to health, particularly in the black community? I think that um, celebrities, just like anybody else, they do things like anybody else does, by seeing someone else do it first, you know? Um, that's, the, that's the good thing. That's the greatest thing about charity. It's contagious. Mm -hmm. Well, you certainly have paved the way on so many uh, things. Uh, you talked about your vegan diet, mm -hmm. and we do need to talk about diet in the black community. And I want to do this in full context because you and I both know that some people talk about lifestyle change and the need for lifestyle change in the context of blaming and shaming. And that's not where you and I are coming from today. We are coming from a place where, yes, the structural issues uh, contribute to where we are today, but it is important to do what we can on an individual uh, basis. So um, let's again talk about some of the small things uh, that you are doing uh, to make a difference in your health and 
what you can recommend others do? We, we think that just because, you know, our parents, or aunts and uncles have had, you know, diseases, heart disease, um, diabetes, whatever, that it's in our DNA mm -hmm. and that we probably will uh, have it too. But I don't think that's right. I'm just a DJ, but I think that if you change your lifestyle, um, which has nothing to do with DNA, that's, that's an individual choice. Um, you just, you know, put some things down. You know it's not good for you. Um, you'll feel better. You'll live longer. And um, you'll have a more fulfilling life. Um, that's what we that's what we we have to do mm -hmm. um, there's no there's no magic there's no magic pill to it you just make up your mind that um, I'm gonna do right you are so right about that it is not inevitable that we get diabetes or hypertension just because our parents so that that's a very good message um, to, or to get out disease. there or heart disease that's a very good message and and while we have individuals work on what they can do, and this is something we're doing at the AMA, we are amplifying the need to make sure people don't live in food deserts, you know, to make sure they can then get access to healthy fruits and vegetables. So I really appreciate uh, that. And, you know, there are so many other factors, and I'm a psychiatrist, that uh, certainly can contribute to our health, as we've discussed. And stress is one, and mental health is an important part of our overall health. And you know, I was thinking about this Release the Pressure campaign and James Brown's song, Get Up Off of That Thing, you know, Gotta and Release dance the Pressure. And dance so you feel better. That's right, and that's activity, <laughs> physical activity is good and gotta release uh, that pressure. Um, do you have any recommendations on how people can unplug in general and particularly during this time and, and release some of that pressure? I play my music loud all the time. Um, and music helps me. Um, whatever it is, you know, just do it. If it makes you, if it makes you feel better, if it releases pressure. We are hearing so many folks are report increased symptoms of anxiety and stress. Um, and depressed mood. And so I think your your recommendations around music. Uh, physical activity, dancing, and you don't have to pay for a, an expensive gym membership. Certainly, we should do all that we can to prevent uh, further uh, health harm. So I appreciate you uh, elevating uh, prevention and talking about it in the context of, of costs, not only cost to us as humans, but also uh, financial toll it takes. You know, I, I think, and even in my own family, you know, as a physician, sometimes it was hard for me to get my own family members to go to the doctor, but mm. they listen to you when they wouldn't listen to me. So I really appreciate that. The cost uh, that I've incurred since having the stroke is so much that if I weren't rich, uh, I'd be on the streets. Tom, I'm a physician, but I have to admit to you that I don't always and haven't always uh, put self-care first. But really, I hear that about yeah, physicians. We, we are not very good at that. But I have been trying to do better uh, since the pandemic and really starting every day with a moment of gratitude and thoughts about self-care. So why do you think self-care is so important for everyone that is listening today? Um, I think if you put yourself first... Uh, and do self-care, that's preventive medicine. Um, I think that um, everything that's wrong with our community, um, if, we, if we just do some preventive things, you know, like one, get a checkup, uh, not necessarily disorder, two, eat healthy and exercise, you know, they're simple things, and you hear it all the time. You know, you just got to do it. Um, 
uh, more people are grasping uh, the fact that black lives do matter, but it's a lot. It, it's a lot. What encouragement do you have for people to stay focused and understand that health is wealth? Um, educate yourself. Educate yourself. Um, you can research. Uh, when when we were growing up, we didn't have all this. No. We had we had encyclopedias. Encyclopedias, yes. <laughs> about twenty volumes of these big thick books, and if we wanted to if we wanted to learn something, we had to go through those encyclopedias. Now you just you just ask Siri what you want, what you want to know. You know, and we are hoping that people will say, hey, Siri, tell us about that release the pressure campaign that Tom Joyner was talking about, because there are two main features of that campaign. The first is accountability. We, again, are focused on black women, black women, and we are asking black women to develop a squad, develop your own health squad, support one another to check your own blood pressure at home and do what we need to do, monitor your, your diet, know your numbers. So hopefully people will specifically ask Siri about release the pressure because there will be a lot of educational resources. And though we are focused on black women, black men can take advantage of those resources as well. Um, you know, I can't imagine uh, what it means to be where you are now, retired, although you are working in retirement, and you get to spend more time with your family, of course, COVID aside. Um, what do you have to say to others to ensure that even with COVID, that we are valuing those precious moments we have with those we love? Thank God for FaceTime. Use it. Check on your loved ones. Look at them. Um, FaceTime them. You can just you can tell a lot just by looking at someone. Man, you don't look right. You know, staying connected is so important. Even from the beginning of this pandemic, I didn't like the term social distancing. I preferred physical distancing because I wanted us to stay socially connected. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that. And we have technology now that we could do that. But, you know, Tom, I've told many who don't have data plans or a smartphone, pick up a regular phone and just, oh, just yeah, call yeah, and, yeah. and talk to someone. Sure, so. sure. Well, any uh, final words of wisdom as we talk about heart health? Anything you want to leave your audience? I think that it's, Im it's imperative that... Um, we keep our heart and our bodies healthy to fight these viruses. You got to take care of your health, your heart health, your body, period, to be able to fight the virus. If by the unlucky chance you catch it, then your body has to go to work. Your body has to go to work to fight it. And so you have to stay heart healthy. Uh, stay healthy, period, to build your immune system, to fight, to fight these viruses now and in the future. Um, every day I'm doing something. Uh, fresh pressed juices, vegan diet, uh, working out, I get, I get a satisfaction, you know, of knowing that I, that I did something that made a difference. Um, that was um, one of the things that I did during my career that uh, I'm most proud of because we actually, we actually saved lives. Well, Tom, I want to thank you so much for your time today and your partnership with the American Medical Association on this Release the Pressure campaign. I know I came away with so uh, many words of wisdom and pearls of wisdom. Follow the science. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. And I'm paraphrasing here, but each one of us is worthy. And prevention is key. And, and, in, finally, the words, and in the words of James Brown, yes, get up off of that the, thing. Dance. Do you feel better? Release that pressure. Yeah.
James said that. James said that from, <laughs> from Augusta GA. So That's right. Thank you very much, Tom. Really okay. appreciate it. Okay, ladies, let's have a real talk about blood pressure. Do you monitor yours regularly? It's something everyone with high blood pressure should do, but it's something most people don't know how to do correctly. Checking your blood pressure regularly will help let you know if you have it under control. It will also help you start to understand which factors are putting you at high risk for stroke and heart attack. Before I get to that, though, I just want to stress one thing. If you have high blood pressure, you should talk to your doctor to figure out how frequently you should be checking it at home. For most people, taking your blood pressure twice in the morning and twice in the evening, even just for a week, will help you and your doctor get a better understanding of your blood pressure. For morning readings, it's best to take those before you take your blood pressure medication. It's also very important to avoid exercise, caffeine, or tobacco at least 30 minutes prior to testing, since those can affect your levels. Now. Let's move on to talk about the proper way to measure your blood pressure at home. Nearly half adults in the U.S. have high blood pressure and are at high risk for stroke and heart attack. So self-measuring is one of the easiest ways to be proactive about our health. Here I have my blood pressure monitoring device. It's easy to use and it helps me get an accurate reading. Be sure to get an automated device with the upper arm cuff. That's the type doctors recommend. The first thing you want to do is find a quiet place to sit where your back is in an upright, stable position. A dining room chair is great. You want to make sure the chair isn't too soft so your body is fully supported. Sit with your feet flat on the floor and don't cross your legs or ankles. If you need to use the bathroom, make sure you go before you do your reading. Next, rest your arm on a flat surface with your palm facing up. Place the blood pressure cuff on your bare upper arm just above your elbow. Your arms should be relaxed and resting so the cuff is at the same height as your heart. Now rest quietly for five minutes before taking the first measurement. Avoid talking while taking your blood pressure measurement. Once your first measurement is completed, write down the blood pressure numbers and pulse that are displayed on the device. Wait one minute and then repeat this process again. As you just saw, it's important to check your two measurements at around the same time each morning and evening. At your next doctor's visit, be sure to share your blood pressure numbers so you can discuss the numbers and so your care plan can be changed if necessary. That's it. Not bad, right? Measuring your blood pressure at home is easy to do and a great way to stay on top of your health. If you have more questions about managing or measuring your blood pressure overall, visit the website. <laughs>